we are back on the parkrun tourism trail we've been away from parkrun tourism for a few weeks we have come back to a parkrun we have covered before back in may this year we are at beaver castle because beaver castle have a completely different parkrun route in the winter compared to the summer so we have come to run their winter route which is more in the grounds of the castle than the one that we ran earlier this year. One of the big differences between the summer course and the winter course is that the summer course is a completely trail course and the winter course is a completely kind of tarmac course. So we haven't got our trail shoes on today, we have got our normal running shoes. So I believe that the elevation is quite similar, it's about 100 meters of total elevation across the 5k the male record here is 17 minutes and 10 seconds that was set in April 2023 and the female record is 19 minutes 49 that was set in April 2022. I'm not quite sure if those records were set on the summer or the winter course. It does not distinguish between the two courses on the Parkrun website and the standard scratch score here is 4.1 once again it's the same standard scratch score as when we did this earlier in the year so it is not clear really if that is for the summer or the winter course or a combination of the two the last time we ran here we ran 24 minutes and 11 seconds so we'll hopefully go a little bit quicker than that today knowing that we're on tarmac and not trail but we're not anticipating personal best times given the amount of elevation on the course so a little bit about the route so the course is a one lap out and back course which is held entirely within the grounds of the castle. It's all tarmac. The start is just down from the main castle and next to the rose garden. Then it goes through the Japanese and kennel woodlands and over a bridge between the stunning upper and lower beaver lakes. You've then got a steady climb up to the cattle grid and bridge above the Woolsthorpe main road. Here you make a turn, come back down over the bridge to a junction where you'll turn right. You'll then follow the path past some cottages and stables, then turn left to commence a climb back towards the castle where you will reach the finish. The facilities here are really good. There is a big car park, so you should have no trouble parking. I think it's free till 10 a.m. There is a cafe here, which I can attest because of the last time we came here, does great coffee, cakes, and breakfast. And there are also toilet facilities that are open when you arrive. Let's see how we get on. So you've seen Castle Park Run. Uh, we're at event number 89 today. To say thank you to the volunteers. <laughs> And we are off. It was a nice wide start here, which made getting into position nice and easy. The first kilometer was downhill all the way with an elevation drop of about 45 meters. This made it my second quickest ever kilometer on a parkrun course of three minutes, 56 seconds. And that was even with putting the brakes on slightly to stay in control. Into the second kilometer now and things started leveling out as we approached the Beaver Lakes. Pace started to get into a more comfortable zone for me. This visit to Beaver Castle was significantly busier than my last trip here with 169 runners today compared to the 61 last time. Many local park runs had been cancelled this morning due to Storm Babette and you can see lots of standing water around the estate so thanks to the volunteers for getting today's run on. The third kilometre was a challenging ascent to the turnaround point which started to tax the legs a bit. At the turnaround point it was back downhill to the lakes. Very good lane discipline by all the runners this morning keeping to the right hand side. My third kilometre came in at 4 minutes 45 seconds so I was finding the necessary pace I needed to beat my time from earlier this year on the summer course. The fourth kilometre was a gradual incline the whole time and the legs were certainly beginning to feel the fatigue by this point. I'm always blown away by the park runners pushing babies in prams around the courses, especially on these ones with a challenging ascent. My split for the fourth kilometre had slowed again, coming in at 4 minutes and 58 seconds. The final kilometre was very challenging with the ascent continuing from the last kilometre but getting steeper as we reach the finish. There was about 40 metres of climb on the final kilometre with my heart rate getting close to its maximum rate with my pace slowing to about 5.15 as I approached the finish 
for the final few meters. Thank you. Thank you so much. Cheers, pal. Thank you so much. Well Cheers. Thank you. And we did it in 23 minutes and 50 seconds. Really pleased with that actually. That is, in terms of elevation, possibly the most unique park run course I've done so far. I think my first kilometre, as you'll hear me say in the commentary, was maybe my fastest I've ever done in a park run. Um, probably the biggest downhill I've experienced. The first kilometre is a steep descent um, and then you get a reality check very quickly. Um, so there's a good mix of downhill, uphill and flat. A lot of really nice people around here today, busy probably because a lot of the park runs in the local area were canceled today because of the storm. Uh, a lot of flooding in local parks and rivers burst in their banks. So thank you to the organizers for getting this one running today. And uh, yeah, had a great time. Now it's time for a coffee. So if you like the videos, give them a like, subscribe to the channel. We'll be doing some more um, park run tourism over the next few weeks and I will see you next time. See ya.